Okay, so I have already done this eye, as you can see, and let me just tell you, it was a struggle. I did this eye twice, this eye once, took it all off, walked away, took a break, had to come back to it. I don't know if it's me or the shadows because I haven't used this palette before, but they just like kept all blending together or just like blending to nothing, if that makes sense. So... Yeah, it was it was a time, but finally got something to work with. So now, fingers crossed, I'm going to attempt the other eye. So I'm starting off with the shade Innocent and a fluffy brush. This is the Morphe 441. And I'm just going to put that in my crease and up a little bit higher. As you can see, I took this up pretty high just to try to help blend out these colors. Then I'm going in with this purple color called No Filter and that same brush. And I'm going to do the same thing. And then I'm taking this dark pink, it is called Mod. Again, same brush. I don't know if you guys can see, but like that spot right there it's like kind of I don't know like it's not really sticking as well like I kind of get the colors blending together because I just went over the same spot with the same like those three colors I get why they would kind of blend together but when I started like going in with like the darker colors it was just like there was no separation if that makes sense it was just kind of all turning into one color so I don't know, I'm really sad because I was really, really wanting this palette and I finally got it and so far I'm not, not a fan, but I'm going to keep working with it and see what happens. So then I'm going to switch brushes. This is the Morphe M433, it's a smaller fluffy brush and I'm going to take those two pink and purple shades and just kind of pat them onto the outer part of my lid. So then I'm going to go in with this shade called Drama, and it's like a darker purple. And place that more on the outer corner, and a little bit into the crease. Okay, so like, do you see what I'm saying? Like, I just used... A different color than the two that I've been using and it's like it just blends right into where it's like I'm using the same color so that's annoying but I'm just gonna have to make it work okay so then I'm going to go in with the shade vamp and it's like a really really dark purple in the same smaller brush and just putting it on the outermost part of the eye and into the crease, just the very outermost of the eye. I'm not going to bring it in quite as far as that last color. See, even as I'm like placing the color, it's like not even right there. I don't even know if you guys can see it, but it's like, I don't know, I've never... I've never worked with shadows that give me such trouble, which really sucks because I've been wanting this palette so bad. I've swatched it so many times and finally went ahead and bought it and it swatched really nice, but 
Just because something swatches nice doesn't mean it's going to apply nicely to your eyes or to blend out very well. So, like I said, I'm going to keep working with it, but so far I'm not loving it. So, let me switch brushes and see if that helps. This is the Morphe M506. It's even smaller because I'm placing the color and then when I try to blend it out in the slightest, it is disappearing. So I'm going to really pack it all on. And then you can see I'm like getting fallout right there. And I'm wondering, because I know a lot of people have been raving about this palette, um, when I got mine, it was like, it was one of those like, looking like it had been like opened and returned because there was like shadow on the mirror and there was like a little piece out of this pink one right here, like someone had returned it, but when I got it, it was the last one and I wanted to use it to film today, so I did not want to take it back. So I don't know if like, I don't know, something happened with the first person that bought it that's making it difficult to work with or if I just got a funky one or what because I know that a lot of people have been liking this palette so I'm not sure why I would be having so much trouble with it and I'm going to take the first shade in the palette called classic it's just a like nude cream colored shade and apply that to my brow bone also on my lid and then I'm just gonna clean it up with a makeup wipe get a nice clean line out there for the wing Okay, so I'm just going to do a wing off camera. This is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. Apply some mascara and falsies, and I will be back to move on to the face. So moving on to the face, I'm going to use the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. This is a little baby one that I just got, and I have never used this before. So I'm just going to mainly focus it on the center of my face where I have larger pores that need smoothing and then with whatever is left I will spread it on the rest of my face. For foundation I'm using the Tarte Invaluable Pro Glow and this is in the shade 205 Natural Beige and I'm sure this is way too dark for me because I haven't self tanned in a really long time but it's okay, I just blend it down my neck and I'm applying it with a Real Techniques damp sponge. For concealer, I'm just going to use the Maybelline Age Rewind because it's sitting right here and I don't want to get up. So I'm just going to run that under my eyes. Center of the forehead, between the brows, down the nose, cupid's bow, and chin. And then go in and blend it out. And then I'm going to go in with my sponge and set it with some RCMA No Color Powder. Okay, so now that my concealer is done, I'm going to go ahead and finish up the eyes. So I'm going to go in with that dark purple right here called Drama on like a dome 
brush and I'm just going to smudge that along my lower lash line. Then I'm going to take that smaller blending brush with a little bit of the light pink and purple just to kind of help blend it out a little bit. And then I'm going to take a pencil brush and that darkest purple and just put it right up close to the lashes. Mostly just on the outer like two thirds maybe. I'm not going to bring it all the way in. And then I'm just going to line my waterline with a black pencil. And applying it some mascara. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of the white shade from the palette. Just put that on my inner corners. Just for a little bit of brightness and kind of open the eye up a little bit. Okay, so moving back to the face, I'm going to use this shade from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette to contour with. And then while I'm in here, I'm just going to mix some of that yellow and peach and apply it under my eyes. And then I'm going to bronze with my NYC Sunny Bronzer. Then for blush, I'm going with Milani's Romantic Rose. And then before I highlight, I'm going to go in with some more of that powder. Just clean up that contour line. So for highlight, I'm using Champagne Pop out of the Jaclyn Hill and Becca palette. And I'm just going to pop that on the tops of my cheekbones and swoop it around my brow a little bit. Cupid's bow, and down my nose. And I'll just tap over it with my damp sponge just to make sure that it all melds nicely into the skin. And then I'll just brush away that bake. Moving on to lips, I'm lining in Sore from MAC.
for lipstick, I'm using this one from MAC and it is in the shade Whirl. Okay, so that completes this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye!